Hello everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to install Genomotion for Android Studio and in general Genomotion isn't specific to just Android Studio. You could also use it in Eclipse if you'd like. Obviously this is going to be for mobile development as well so we'll just get started. So obviously open up your browser and then type in Genomotion and then we'll enter that in there and then the first one that'll pro pop up is going to be Genomotion so just click that so straight off the bat here, it's going to allow you to get Genomotion. So you can click that, and then obviously you're going to want to get the free version. You can also go with the business version, but I don't have that, and you guys probably don't need that unless you're doing a production-type environment. Uh, one thing that you will do need to do is to sign in. You will need an account with Genomotion in order to use their software. Otherwise, you'll run into problems and you probably won't be able to use it. Um, so we're going to be installing Genomotion with, uh, with, without VirtualBox. Yes. Pretty sure it's this one. Um, so again, uh, just put in whatever you signed up with. I've already signed up. It's an easy process. I believe it was this one. Alright, so once you sign in, once you sign in, You'll get to this page. Opening Genomotion X exec. There we go. And then it installs. So it's real small. And then you just hit the button there. So now you'll see Genomotion 2.40. Um, also, this is on a Windows machine. You can also install this obviously on a Linux machine and also a Mac machine. We'll double click on that button right there. And then it will load up. The application to install. Yes. And then it'll ask you what language to install it in. Obviously it's going to be English. Next, it's going to ask where you would like the folder path to be. Hit next. In most cases that's going to be the C drive for most people, but um, not for me. My C drive is pretty full up. Whoops. Next. Uh, I generally don't like desktop icons, so I'm going to hit no to that. And then we'll install and then it will install. So I already have this installed, um, so it might not take as long as most people's computers, but uh, it also might take a little bit longer for mine, because I don't know. Okay, so the filing applications are using for that file. I'm kind of surprised that that's... Yes. We'll have that stop doing what it's doing. Okay, so it's pretty much uninstalling and reinstalling, but this is going to be the same process for you guys, except you're not going to run into that error. Um, because you won't have ADB running. Um, it's very quick install, so it's finishing up here. So Genomotion, again, is a great, great piece of software. It's going to, for everybody that's developing Android, uh, give you an em emulator that is extremely quick. For those that uh, migrated from Eclipse to Android Studio, you'll realize that the emulator is a lot quicker to that. But Genomotion's even quicker than Android Studios. So this is the equivalent basically of a virtual box but it's just a different co coat of paint on it really, Genomotion style. So I already have one set up but for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to make another one. So you guys won't have this um, so when this pops up just hit the add button and then it'll give you a bunch of stuff. So again th this is up to you guys where you want what version you want, whether all the way from 2.3.7 all the way to the new 5.1 Lollipop. It uh, doesn't really matter to me here since it's just a demonstration, but we'll go with, I don't know, a Nexus 5 maybe? Let's do a 5.1. And then we'll hit next. Then you can change the name if you really want to. I'm not going to, and then we'll hit next. So then it'll download the files, and this is just essentially installing a, another virtual box. For the, I'll uh, put a link uh, in the beginning of the video how to install a virtual box. In this per for our purposes here, you don't really need to know because it, it's already done, but for this to be doing this at this part, you're going to have to have a virtual box installed. So if you're watching this video and you're wondering how I even got to this point, remember you're going to have to originally have an Oracle virtual box installed on your on your main computer at this point if not before this even I think even before this when you start up the application it might pop up with an error saying hey you need a virtual box 
uh, application installed for this to be doing what it needs to be doing. But so then when it downloads here, it should just go back to that uh, main page as soon as we opened up the application. All right, so the virtual device has been created. Finish. All right, so pretty sure I yeah Nexus Five is the one. Yeah, maybe I should have named it. <laughs> uh, click the little wrench icon, and then from here you'll have a configuration setting. Uh, again, if you guys are familiar with virtual boxes, this is very very similar. Uh, if not, it doesn't really matter either. So it allows you to choose how many processors uh, you want to allocate to it, which is great. Uh, I'm going to say with all the basic settings, you know, everybody's computer is going to be different here. I have eight cores on my processor, so it allows me to choose four, eight if I want to. I, I highly don't recommend that if you only have eight. Um, so then it lets you decide what the screen size is, the density. You can create a custom value, which is great, but most cases you don't want to do that. Android system options. The two things that I highly recommend for anybody is the show Android nav bar and use virtual keyboard for text input. It's great for kind of logging in services and whatnot. Um, with that set up now, you can click start. So this is outside of anything Android Studio. This is just starting up an emulator off of Gen Emotion. So technically, you don't need to have Android Studio installed, nor really you don't even need Eclipse installed if that's what you use to develop an Android. So once you start this up, just like that, it loads up uh, the emulator. So people who use Eclipse and Android Studio definitely know that that is way faster than what you normally get right off the get-go. And so just like that, it's up and running now. So, I mean, how long was that? In the video, I'll be able to determine, but probably, what, 5, 10 seconds, 15 seconds at the most, which is extremely fast. And you can also run multiple of these, which is the highlight of Genomotion. So you'll be able to click that and then start this guy up as well. And just like, again, if you guys are familiar with VirtualBox and virtual devices, uh, very similar. You're able to launch multiple windows at the same time. And why is this important? It's extremely important when developing Android because let's say you want to develop a um, mobile application that spans between like this one, a phone, and then something like this that looks like a tablet. Um, I'm not sure if that's what this is or not, to be honest, but for our example purposes, let's say it is. So this is a tablet and this is a phone. So now you're able to run that application and in Android Studio, again, we'll get there uh, to using the plugin for this. You'll be able to use a plugin and then be able to run it on all the devices you have running, which is fantastic because then if you're developing a uh, application that requires someone to have, you know, it looks good on a tablet or it looks good on a phone, you're able to uh, test on both. You're able to run on both, and they both run, and it's very quick to load an application up onto these things as well. And we'll get into that as well. Uh, in this video, um, trying to think whether or not to use. Uh, in another video, I'll actually show the the Android Studio plug-in just in case as well. well actually no I won't I'm just gonna cut this part out then so again you guys I don't know why this guy's not loading up normally this will load up it might just be my settings anyway so both can run at the same time which is great uh, and then if you guys are really wondering if you go start and then find your Oracle VM virtual box or even type it in search or however however you get to there uh, you'll be able to see that now there's a Google Nexus 7 and a Google Nexus 5 uh, the 5 is the one that I just added and 7 was one that I've been working with for some time now but you're able to see now that that's how they that's how they you know all they are, are virtual boxes in a, in a VM machine uh, but that's going to cut it for this video then. Uh, in the next video, I will kind of demonstrate how to get the plugin set up for Android Studio. But this video is tailored to getting Genemotion set up, getting you on the website, signing up. Once you're signed up, installed. And now you're able to run a great, fast-working uh, emulator. I'll see you guys in the next video.